Hey guys, Riverdead here. Welcome back to another episode of Cloud Punk. Hope everyone is enjoying themselves Can today. I ask here we a go. Question. Of go ahead, course. Do you think if I am a car for long enough, I will stop being a dog? Well, I guess that depends. Do you feel like a car now? No, I am a dog. Well, whatever you feel like, that's what you are. But other people don't look at me and think, that is a cute dog. Well, let's be <laughs> honest, you were never a cute dog. But now I'm not any kind of dog. Not to other people. They just see me as a hova. Who cares what other people think? Look what happens when I try to bark. That's strange. I guess there's going to be some weirdness when we put a dog automata in a hava automata slot. Yeah, Am I kidding. still a dog if I don't bark? Well, I'm your best friend, and I think of you as a dog. Friend? If I'm a dog, am I not a pet? Look, Chemis, what do you want to be? I feel like a dog. I was happier when I had the old body. What's a dog with no bark? <laughs> You're just a horse. You're a car with no horn. Oh, poor Camus. Poor, poor Camus. Ah, uh, yeah, so um, I'm recording this night before. Uh, there was a patch came through the other day, so it's supposed to fix a bunch of the stuff, yourself. so we're kind of excited about maudlin. it. Are you still a musician if you don't play music? Hey, now you're being mean. Oh, I didn't mean to. What's really bothering you? You didn't ask me if I wanted to be a dog or a hova. Well, actually, you're right, Camus. Do you want to be either? Hmm. You don't even need to be my friend if you don't want to be. I feel sad. Look, a lot of stuff is fucked up in this world, Camus. Yep. I won't make you be my friend or force you to stay with me. You can go free. I just want to let you know something first. I am listening. I like you. You're a good friend. As a dog, car, fire hydrant, vacuum cleaner, whatever. <laughs> I like you too. I want to be a dog and your friend. All right then, let's get back to work. The sooner we make some more deliveries, the sooner I can save money to get you a proper frame. Was the last job good? The Andersons? I don't know, Camus. I've mess. been thinking about automata and androids a lot. Sometimes it doesn't seem fair. Do you think it's fair? I am nope. not really programmed to think about fairness. I can see why they would make you that way. People are programmed too, but not by programmers. By the world around them. Yeah, that's that's true. very wise, Camus. He's a very wise automata. I am not programmed to be wise. Well, you've There's gone beyond be. your programming then. Is that a compliment? Maybe the highest compliment. Then I think you have gone beyond your programming too. <laughs> I like Camus. But we're going to meet Huxley soon. I cannot wait to talk with Huxley again because his banter is amazing. Okay, well, we're closing in. This is where we're going to be. And parking. Should be right here. I think we've been here before. Can't remember. Okay. Yeah, I think I clear everything out of here, so I'm pretty sure that we've uh, completed this area. Uh. Okay, maybe we haven't. I have no idea. I don't remember walking this way before. Gotta really hope I'm doing the right thing. I hate getting lost in this game, I tell you. No, this looks right. Yeah, we're good. We should be good. But I really think we've been here before. I don't know why. It's It all looks the same, to be honest. It's a pretty awful place to be. Huxley, my friend. This had better be good, Huxley. Wait, what happened to your arm? It was a good question. 
How do I tell the Dane that when Raguan's goons gave me the elbow, I lost an arm? We had to get moving. <laughs> oh. Well. Okay. I gave them a nav point that would get us out of danger. They ripped your arm off? You have to go to Corpsec, Huxley. Raguan, Corpsec, Peter. They were all tangled up in some complex web I couldn't untangle. But I knew one thing. If I tugged on the wrong thread, the spiders were gonna come for their lunch. What oh, does wow. that mean? I am sorry I said to pick him up. He is still <laughs> very annoying. Quiet for now, Chemist. Amazing. Huxley, you think Corpsec is involved in Pashta's disappearance? It was all connected, but I couldn't see how. Someone was lying. Raguan said I should talk to Peter, but then his gorillas ripped off my arm and threw me out of a sixth floor window. Oh, so jump. just call Peter and ask him what's really going on. Now the client wouldn't answer my calls. I could feel the girl slip through my fingers, and if I couldn't pull her back, she'd slip through the cracks too. That's why you called me, right? You want me to take you to Peter? I wanted to tell the dame that she was right, that it, that it would be easy. She thought I was asking for a quick journey across town, but I was asking her for much more. I was asking her to go out on a limb for me. I was... Huxley, just this one time, please skip to the point. Yeah. Cloud Punk. That was the... I'm digging this a lot. Okay. Oh, Huxley. With the company the dame worked for. They had some serious resources. Vehicles, contacts with society both high and low. And mm -hmm. an up-to-date address list of almost everyone living in Nivalis. Oh no. Huxley, that could get me fired. If we are just asking, maybe we won't get in trouble. Camus, you didn't want us to help Huxley in the first place. I have been thinking more about things. About automata and what we do. And? We need to help each other help each other be better like saving a little girl everything is so complicated in the city you do something and it is a bit good but a bit bad too but saving the little girl is only good i, I can't agreeing. explain it very well no it's fine i get it it's nice to help people when you can but i'm responsible for both of us chemists if i get fired i can't even keep you in the hava never mind find you a new body i understand I still want to help find Pashta. I didn't want to impose on... Quiet, both of you. I have to make a call. Control, this is driver 14... This is Rania. I need to ask for a favor. I read you, driver. What do you need? I need an address. I don't think I'm understanding you. We don't have a new job for you yet. Um, there's no packages right now, but if you give it half an hour... This isn't really about work. I need a personal favor. I just need you to give me someone's address. You, uh, know this someone? Not really. Look, I know it's a big ask. Y you ain't joking. Uh, you're asking me to share private info. I could, uh, get deleted. Deleted? Fired. I could get fired. Uh, you want to tell me what this is all about? He's an android, too. A girl is missing. The less details you know, the better, right? I just need this one favor, Control. It's important to me. I don't uh, want to hear any more about this, 14FC. I'm signing off. Control, wait. Her name is Pashta. She's alone, probably scared, taken from her family. This has got nothing to do with us, Rania. I could have been that little girl. That's why I have to help. Growing up, you. the debt corpse could have taken me away from my mom. But every time, she somehow came up with the money. It was close. Don't you get it? Look, Radia, this isn't a normal favor. What if it was your little girl? You don't want to go there. I can't. Look, it's one address. Don't say anything. Don't tell anyone. Peter Unthrink. That's the name. Just hang up, then send us the address. I'll never ask for anything like this again. Control out. I am nervous. That was tense. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure he would. We got a nav point. The dame really came through. Yeah. To the control. Wow. Every time. I am receiving an order to stop by Corpsec. 
Are you sure it's Corpsec? I don't see anyone. The signal is from close by, but I don't know where exactly. It seems like Corpsec, but there is no incident number. They normally send an incident number. This is Corpsec. You're speaking to Agent Rio. We have reason to believe you are harboring a known criminal, rogue android Huxley. Rio again? Why are you following us? Is this personal? Yeah, it is personal. Rio's a jerk. He's a real jerk. You are currently breaking the law. Corpsec requires you to turn in your passenger and surrender yourself to... Camus, you said the signal is close by. I don't think this Rio is on official business. Is he affecting any of your systems? No. If we drive, we could get out of his range. You have 60 seconds to comply. If he's not really Corpsec, I think we should run for it. But if he is, he might call for backup to chase us. Maybe we should call his bluff. I'm calling it. Well, that sucked. We're going for the green. Try not to hit any more buildings. Potentially getting more gas. Now we got half a tank. We should be fine for today. Next episode, gas for sure. Unless this is gas here. No. I kind of miss the old car, not gonna lie. This thing still handles like a big old tank. You'd think that with him giving us 60 seconds at, and not complying, that we would have uh, pissed him off by now. I am heading the right direction, right? Dear God, I hope so. Yeah. You know what? Fine. Arrest us. We'll talk to Corpsec officers about everything we know, including your boss. But we don't want to be arrested. This is bad. Quiet, Camus. If they wanted to arrest us, they wouldn't be talking. I don't think this is really Corpsec. Something is off. Don't start a battle with me, girl. I'll make it into a war. Either arrest blah, blah, us blah. or let us go. Drop this. Drop that android. Get yourself out of this mess while you can. I won't warn you again. He has disconnected. Let's get moving, Camus. Okay. Where's my parking here? Good, good, good. Camus, where is this nav point taking us? The Alexa Theater. Maybe Peter lives in an apartment above it? Clerk in the lobby. Yeah, that would be my guess. Peter would be working the popcorn stand, mixing up the hottest flavors, caramel and anchovy with cinnamon protein flakes. Ready Sounds for the next screening of some piece of trash anti-android prop films. Cyborgs ate my babies three. Is that a real movie? Yes. I saw it advertised on a poster. Gross. We are getting a message. It is from Control. Put him through. He is not on comm. It's just a text message. He says that okay. Corpsec networks are down all over the city. There's a Corpsec security point between here and the Alexa Theater. But if we go on foot, we might be able to get through. I'm not sure Corpsec really are looking for us. I think it was just that one guy trying to scare us off. Yep. Agent Rio? Yeah. You're okay to go on your own, Huxley, right? We can drop you at the security point? In a simple world, that would be the plan. But this was a complicated city. Security points like that one couldn't be crossed by an android without a human to accompany them. Ah, uh, okay. What? Why? I know why. On the holovids, they said something about an android virus. Wait, wait. Humans are worried that the androids are going crazy in this zone. That sounds like crazy propaganda. Who would believe that? The dame didn't know her okay. history. Truth is, that neighborhood was never the friendliest for rust buckets like me to begin with. Back in 69, the riots hit the district hard. Alexa Theater was ground zero. I'll come through with you then. If the security points are down, they shouldn't have any reason to stop us. But just be cool, Huxley. Try to Huxley's speak like... Cool. Actually, just try just to be completely be silent quiet, once yeah. we're there. Can you do that? <laughs> I'm impressed. How are we doing? 
Okay, yeah, we should be able to go through here. Oh, corpse sack, yeah. Good evening, ma'am. We've got a problem with our system right now. I'm gonna have to ask you to be patient while I manually read through your record. We can't contact HQ right now. No problem. Is your android friend all right? Does he speak? Oh no, he's mute. He's always been mute. He doesn't have any recent issues with speech or anything. He's been behaving very normally. <laughs> so, problems with your system, huh? That must be a bummer. Big That's time. the weird thing. It's not the system itself. It's the agents working the security posts. I swear, yeah. if we had unions, we'd be on strike. They got us working hours so long, half the agents are like zombies. So, we clear to go ahead, or...? Then we got all these reports of androids going nuts! Turns out, there ain't no evidence that it's the androids at all. We got failed <laughs> neural augments sparking paranoia. They should be locking up the humans. <laughs> What's causing all this? Who knows? My old man says the city AI has a virus and it's infected us all. The humans, the androids, the programs controlling sanitation, traffic, everything. You believe that? Sure. But he also says they put mind control drugs in the toothpaste, and I'm gonna be a rich corpse CEO before I'm 30, so... Can we go? <laughs> What's that? Oh, sure, uh, whatever. Uh, get going. Thank and you. don't let your android buddy out of your sight. It's not safe for his kind in this zone. Yeah, 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 we got this. That was easy. And here we go. La 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 la. Okay, we're gonna grab another one of these over here. Flaca. I think we're gonna go over here, right? This place is cool. Peter. Hi, do you work here? We're looking for a guy called. The hell are you doing here? You're gonna get us both killed, Huxley. So this was the client. I had pictured a hard-working man in a cheap suit, but instead, I was looking at a greasy-looking... Shut your mouth! You got some nerve coming into this neighborhood and speaking oh. to me like that, Huxley. Look, oh we my. just want to help you find your daughter. Shit. Look, this is all a hustle, and it's way out of my league. She ain't really what? my daughter. Who paid not. you to say she was? If I tell you that, you're as dead as I am. I've been driving all over the city trying to find this girl. I'm not giving up on this now. Just tell me where I can find her, okay? Just forget her. She's probably fine. The way uh -huh. his voice shook, we all knew he was lying. It's the uh -huh. memory chip in her head they need. It's not about the girl. No one cares about the girl. Huxley does. Just let him do his job. Rio. That's all I can say. Talk to Rio. Oh, Wait, shit. the corpse sec agent? He just threatened us. Before you talk to me? Hey, that's great! That means he won't know we talked! Or he thinks I talked already. Shit. Just get out of here, will you already? We should go, Huxley. This is getting dangerous. It would get more dangerous, but I had to stick around. It's not safe here, Huxley. It was too late for me. The security checkpoints would be up again. I'd be caught if I went through. Oh, Besides, man. I had some leads I wanted to follow here. Damn it. Well, call me if you need me again, Huxley. Dang it. I'll see you around. <laughs> Huxley, it was great hanging out with you again. It's always batshit crazy every time I meet you. Well, that was fun. Let's go get this last piece over here. Since I don't think we'll be coming back here anytime soon. The next thing, Rio. Oh God, I won't have to deal with him again. Corpse tech flyer, great. Subretinal VR that a lot of crap. Interacts with your nervous system. Only Unibozu Resort VR can take you there. Unibozu Resort, better Rio. than real. Uh, yeah. Well, back to the car, I guess. Poor Camus. Okay, we get through there, okay? Oh, there we go. I was waiting for that. Hey, uh, kid, I need you to know this next job. It's not personal, okay? 
It has uh, nothing to do with our last discussion. You're not being punished. It's just, well, there's no one else available. That doesn't sound good. What's the no. job? We need you down in Gallows Row. There's uh, been an accident. What kind of accident? Uh, reports are mixed. We think it's a gas leak. Uh, toxic. Some folk are saying it's radioactive. Uh, it's radioactive. We're pretty sure it's not a zombification virus. And it's definitely not a neural implant ransomware attack. Well, I mean, not definitely, but probably. That all sounds so reassuring, Control. Yep. The point is, uh, we're pretty sure the area where you're going is safe. Communication in and out of Gallows Row is broken down, and uh, Corpsack have uh, set up a perimeter. But Cloudpunk has received a contract from an external security agency to extract persons of value. So, I'm a taxi now? Uh, more like a short-term contracted emergency response vehicle. An ambulance? Uh, yeah, but an ambulance for anyone who might have good private security or health insurance, or anyone who would be valuable to society. You know, CEOs, doctors, anyone with diamond fillings in their teeth. So diamond you don't fillings? know who's down there? We're getting scattered reports. Now, this is a lucrative job. You can squeeze three people in your hava. I'm not saying you need to save the three richest assholes you can find. But make sure they have enough resources to cover the bribes that'll get them back out of the quarantine zone. And then when they get back, make sure they have the, the same... Should be interesting. <clears throat> I'm kind of nervous about this one, I'm not going to lie. So our insurance policies to... You know, You're hitting a little close a to profit. home right this second. Give me coordinates, would you? So at least one rich asshole. Uh, maybe two, just to be safe. <laughs> Great. So, how do I get to this poisonous, radioactive dead zone filled with rich zombies? There's an abandoned Corpsec security station just inside the quarantine zone. Corpsec are expecting you, so they'll let you through the perimeter. Okay. Once you get inside, just blend in as best you can. Ask people their stories. Yeah, use your judgment. And only mention you can get someone to safety when you're sure you want them as a passenger. Gotcha. Great. How long till this shift is over, Control? Don't sweat it, kid. The night is almost half done. Ooh. When's your shift end, Control? My, God. My shift? I can't even remember when it began, kid. I'm pretty sure I'll be doing this forever. Control out. This whole area is about to be quarantined, ma'am. I know you got a contract to pick up some folk, but you gotta be quick. If you're okay. not back soon, you're gonna get stuck on the other side. Gotcha. I understand. Okay, there we go. Hi, how are you? I am good, thank you. My service tag is GN. How are you doing? Peachy? Are you brand new? You're so... shiny. Mm -hmm. I am 18 hours old. And I have to say, I've only spoken to six people so far, but I have liked almost all of them. Almost all? I also spoke to Mr. Sharp. So, you're fresh out of the box. What is your programming? My default functions have not yet been set. I was purchased by a restaurant and was activated by a chef and another chef who talked to me about cooking and also food. food Sounds and like you were going to be a chef. Why do you say that? Just a hunch. So <laughs> what happened? All the humans in the restaurant started to cough. Then they were rolling, then twitching. Then they were still. Oh, wow. I guess they were poisoned by the gas leak, and you were the only one left? Yes. They didn't instantiate my base programming, so I am in generic mode. I just love to be helpful, it's my favorite thing. What well, will you do if you can get out of here, GN? I don't think I will get out. They will send me back to the factory to be wiped. But you've already been activated. If they wipe you, won't that be like... I do not want to go. But if I am not wiped, I have one recorded owner, and my market value will be far less. If wow. I am wiped, I can be sold as new. 
But androids can't be owned anymore, not since the law changed. We're only considered emancipated after we've been born. And we aren't born till we're given a name. Wow. You have a name? No, that is my service tag. Can I give you a name? No, only my first legal employer can do that. And they don't give us a name till we sign a work contract. Usually for at least 10 years. Wow. What about if I got you out of here? Perhaps. I would like to help people. I really like helping. I have only I do. done 12 different things so far, but helping is by far my favorite. Much better than worrying about my own mortality. I'm with you there, Jim. Okay. Hi, I remember you. Oh, thank Cora, you're here. Oh, God. It's good to see you, miss. I was so thankful to Skypunks for their help before. Sky punks. I was hoping you could help me once again. I'm sorry to see you trapped here. Of course you are. It must be very distressing for you to see someone like me stuck here with the rest. I need you to get a message to Mr. Octavius Butler. He'll know what to do. Sure he will. Maybe I can help you. Of course you can. This is a serious matter. You need to get Mr. Octavius Butler. You must remember a message for me. Can you do that? Yeah. Maybe. Here is the message. I am trapped in Gallows Row. Come and save me. Do you need to write this down, dear? Oh, God. I think I can remember it. I understand there is toxic gas. I'm not sure how long we'll be safe here. There is no one authorized to take us to safety. That's what I'm But don't about. worry. Mr. Octavius Butler will know what to do. You know, I might be able to take you... Mr. Butler, dear. Get going quickly now. Okay. I'm hoping that you never make it out of here. Hi, my name's Rania. I'm just chatting with everyone to pass the time. How are you doing? Why are you asking so many questions? Wow. I didn't think I was. Look, it wasn't my fault. You know that. I know that. Wow. The lab has accidents all the time. It was definitely one of the interns. Do you work in a lab? I own the lab. And no, none of us could have predicted the... Are you with Corpsec? <laughs> definitely not. If you can find a way to get me out of here, I'll make it worth your while. Oh. I told the Corpsec officers at the perimeter that I had rescue insurance, but they didn't believe me. You believe me, right? Sure, I'll just go get you some help. Okay. Lots of pieces of work around here. Hello, miss. Not miss. I'm a doctor. Oh, oh okay. sorry about that. Sorry, doc. Are you okay, doctor? Yes. <laughs> yes, sorry for snapping. This is all just very stressful. My name is Dr. Ochoa. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Dr. Are you Ochoa. A... I'm just stuck here like you. What happened? They say it was a toxic gas leak. Some of my patients have been having trouble with their breathing in the last few weeks. I thought it was just smog, but I guess it was much worse than that. Are hmm. you sick? I have no symptoms of respiratory illness. I am feeling lightheaded, but I think it's the heat in here. And the stress. Have you talked to that butler woman? What a nightmare. Oh, yeah. What caused the toxic gas? I don't know. The whole city is falling apart. Explosions, gas leaks, trash mountains, logic virus bombs, whole districts getting relocated. The economy is in constant flux. Mm -hmm. My grandmother was an old tech priest. She used to say the city has a spirit, and that spirit gets a little angrier every year. You don't believe that, right? You're a doctor. No. I don't believe the city is the avatar of a new dark god rising. My grandmother had early onset dementia. So why is everything in the city getting worse then? No one else will say it. But when you're a doctor, you learn that sometimes you just have to say, I don't know. Questions create a vacuum that answers want to fill. But bad answers are worse than no answers. What will you do when you get out? Drink some vodka. Phone mm. my ex-husband and tell him I still hate him. But he can <laughs> stop worrying about me. Eat some takoyaki. 
Mm. Do you, will you be able to afford the rescue insurance if someone picks you up? No way. I've only been out of medical college 10 years. Dang. It doesn't matter though. No one's coming anyway. We're just gonna have to wait it out. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. I think she's one I want to take. Um, hi. Can I talk with you for a minute, sir? Mom, yes, Mom. Sergeant Kai, pleased to meet you. My name is Rania. How long have you been in the army? 312 years, man and boy. Or android and circuit board. Am I <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, good one. Hey, what do you know about this accident? Very little, Mom. I'm on need to know programming, and I do not need to know this. Mm. Do you have any <laughs> friends or family looking for you? I got the old boys waiting for me at the oil guzzler. It's my local. Are you retired? Yes, Mom. There's not many of us Mark 8s left in the city. We're antiques. I was originally programmed to run an all-terrain vehicle during the Rat Wars. The Rat Wars? Were you really fighting? Rats, yeah. Well, at first, they grow pretty big in the lower levels of Nivalis. <laughs> Giant rats are the Scurrying down size. corridors in swarms. Hundreds of them. Millions. Big as horses. Was it really a war if you were fighting rats? It sounds more like you were an exterminator. <laughs> if you'd been there, you would have called it a war. And I don't suppose you have much savings as a veteran either? Barely a penny to my name. Well, that was interesting. Hi, I'm Rania. So, uh, looks like we're stuck here, Mr. I'm sorry, I don't have any business cards left. Um, me neither. But you can still tell me your name, right? I guess so. The cards are eggshell with a hollow finish. The font is an archaic neoclassic choice called Tahoma. Wow. They have my office number, so I never forget where I work. And they say your name, which is? Oh, right. Quincy Sharp, CEO. CEO? Wow. For which corp? Again, I'd have to check my card. Oh, wow. You don't know which corp you work for? We just went through a rebranding. I really couldn't say. You know, I've always wondered, what does CEO stand for? No one remembers. We just use it for the upper level management and corps. How do you get a job as a CEO? Foresight, leadership, boldness. Thinking both inside and outside the box. Blue sky thinking, being a savage, originality. Those wow. are the characteristics that make you a real game changer. Yeah, no kidding. And money, right? No one works up to be a CEO these days. You need limbs in the first place. I always see money as a kind of energy force, and I've been able to act as a conduit and channel that energy through positive thinking. My father also <laughs> left me a small trust fund. Uh-huh. Is anyone worried about you back home? My father, for sure. Although, we haven't spoken since I faked an alibi for my brother-in-law after he ran over that colored lady. Oh, God. I should go. Okay. Hello. It is Camus, Camus the dog. I am messaging Rania with a very important message. Yeah, Camus, you don't need to... What is it? The guards are saying the gate will close soon and no one will get out. You need to come back. Okay. I can't decide who to take. There is only room for three. I know. And we need to take passengers who can cover the costs of rescue for Cloudpunk. At least, I think we do. Should I just take the people I like? I don't know, but you have to choose now. You should talk to the people you want to save, then get out of there quickly. Uh -huh. All right, I'll tell them. I know who I'm going to choose, yep. I think. Professor, he's got money. Professor, I can get you out of here. Do you want to come with me? Really? Why? Am I under arrest? What? No. I'm just a delivery driver with a rescue subcontract. I have a vehicle and clearance to leave the quarantine zone. Why didn't you say? Get me out of here. Gotcha. Before everyone realizes that although this wasn't my fault, some might wrongly attribute this whole disaster to me. Mm -hmm. Whatever. I'll see you at the checkpoint in two minutes. 
be ready to leave. So he's good. I'll take her. I liked her. Dr. Ochoa, I actually have a vehicle. I can get past the security checkpoint. I can get you out of here. Really? But what about everyone else? I only have a few spaces. We need to go now. I'll gather my things. Meet me at the security checkpoint in two minutes. And then against my better judgment. You're staying here. We're gonna let GN go. Hey GN, I think you deserve a better life than 24 hours of consciousness before your personality gets wiped. I'm getting you out of here. Really? This is the most exciting thing that's happened in my whole life. Just be <laughs> ready to leave. I'll get you at the checkpoint in a minute, okay? Right. Yeah. I'll just start packing my things. I'm done packing. <laughs> nice. Interesting bunch of refugees you picked up here, Rania. Thanks for can. including me. This is my best Hava journey ever. In fact, this is my favorite day of my life. Much better than yesterday. <laughs> I can't wait to get to parts of the city where people aren't dying as frequently. Yeah, be nice. When you get back to safety, just remember, you didn't see me. And I acted completely innocently, just like someone who didn't know anything about the accident. I really don't like that guy. I took him just because he might have the money in case we ever ran into trouble. Uh, and then I did not take the other um, android because he was 300 and 12 years old or whatever it was, so I figured he'd been around long enough. And plus, it's an android, he should be fine. Yeah, an upgrade. We are getting a call. It is Huxley again. Of course what it's should Huxley. I put him through? I had her. I finally had her. Now all I needed was a way out. Huxley, did you find Pasta? The dame was sharp, but I needed an exit <laughs> strategy, not a pat on the back. I'll come get you. Send me an F point. I hope she would get here soon. The situation was going south quicker than the Americans when the ice caps melted. Oh man. And we will go and we will set rescue Pashta in our next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed today. I'll see you guys soon in our next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. This is a song for all.